in case you didn't know, the next update, 30.5, if it's going to be that, who knows, it could be update 40, but it's going to be Sisters of Porvos. This is going to be the corpus-based lich-style system. Was in no way intending on making a video about that. Simply for a few different reasons. The main one being, well, the only thing that we know about it is, well, it's the corpus-based lich system. They're not called queen pins, king pins, corpus liches, none of that. They are confirmed as being the sisters of Parvos. There is huge spoilers that lead towards this that I'm not going to mention. We're just going to leave the name of it right there and jump straight into some of the weapons that they will be dropping. As mentioned, there is going to be three new Grenier Lich. Yeah, yeah, Kuva Liches. They're going to have three new weapons, but they haven't shown off all of the new weapons. They did show off two pretty new ones. They all seem to be suitcase-based guns, but this one, they kept referring to it as a two-handed Nakana. To be fair, I think there's only two of those as it is, and I still prefer the Tatsu for looks, which is why I used it for so long. This I'm unsure on, because it's just... Unfortunately, a lot of these corpus-based things, though they do look very, very corpus and do not look bad in the slightest, um, they just seem very boxy to me. It's not really a bad thing, but uh, I just... Personal preferences more than anything else. I can't say there's much wrong with it, but I didn't really particularly... From what I could see, like the looks of it, hopefully it makes up for it in damage because it just looks kind of weird on the back. It should be on the side. And then there's this. Okay, this is where it, it kind of turned around. Could this have been the big two-handed Nakana? Nope, this would be a heavy sword. And, oh yes, that is a two-bladed melee weapon. A two-bladed heavy sword sword that goes into another suitcase case based thing and looks pretty well they have shown off in the past some of the other suitcase weapons which i honestly thought they would show off again in dev stream 154 last week but they didn't but that that one i'm looking forward to the two-handed nakana was kind of it's nice looking but that looked much better and then we have this thing. Oh yes, another sword and shield. It's a hammer and shield, actually. Um, can you see it? I don't know about the angles, if I'm being brutally honest. You can't kind of see it because of the bit in the bottom left. But, as you could expect, the hammer comes out of it, it turns into a big shield. There hasn't been a sword and shield based melee weapon in too long. That well, that and the the gun that, sadly, we didn't get to see any of this time round. Definitely looking forward to. As I say, I don't dislike the two-handed Nakana. This thing, I'm definitely looking forward to using that. That may be one of the first ones I try to go after, depending on how they work these. And it really is time we had another sword and shield based melee weapon. Another thing I wasn't really going to mention about the new corpus-based lich system. It's not a lich system, it's the Sisters of Porvos, but this is the main reason and the only reason I'm doing this. Because I have come across so much information in the past six days that say these, well, they did have some ideas that if they turned out to be a thing is going to be awesome. Instead of having the Kuva minions, the thralls, they come after you. Was nothing more than an idea. That's basically all it was. What ha these are going to be is they are going to be instead of when your Kuva Lich comes after you and you have to attempt to take them down, you get one of these corpus based companions 
Why am I saying that? Because at a certain point during the stream, they did say you will be able to get these as companions, which means, yes, the corpus-based Kubro. Robot dogs is actually going to be a thing. Imagine my face when they said that. More so after my whole April 1st video where I showed this and went, oh, a corpus-based companion. Um, that's a bursa, first off. And there was exactly one person who got how I did that right. A lot of people got very close and also noticed all of the little hints that I left in there. But only one person actually got how I did that. Okay, I will actually show the kind of takedowns because it was mentioned that this is how you get the murmur. Um, it wasn't. This is part of the Sisters of Parvos fight in itself. Not how you get the murmur. And then they went on to say, that may be how you get the murmur. You could literally watch this as the idea was born to have them as the thralls instead of thralls which I like that idea, having to take these down instead of special corpus-based enemies. Well, it would basically be the same thing, but they mention the fact that they are not thralls at the time that the dev stream was on, but by the time it kind of got past this, you could watch the idea kind of being born. So when people keep telling you these are th the how you are going to get the murmur with them, um, Time will tell. The false information out there at the moment is this is fact. It's not quite, well, it might be fact now, a week later, but while it was on, they were talking about it and you could hear the idea being kind of born, but at the time that the dev stream was on, they are part of the Sisters of Parvos fight, not how you get the murmur. But I like the idea of it being how you get the murmur because taking them out would be better than taking out some random, upgraded, corpus-based enemy. But I just want to do this as kind of more of a... And this is a weird one coming from me. A fact-correcting video. For all of those people who say, these are going to be the sisters. Technically, that was correct. They are going to be part of the sister fight. They may be part of the Murmur in the future, but at the time this was actually on, they are not part of the Murmur system, the Thrall system. They are part of the final battle. And yes, you will be able to get them as companions. They said you will be able to get them as companions. I'm guessing that's probably in the same way you can have a Kuva Lich come and fight alongside you. Hopefully more information on that will come soon, but those who keep seeing and a few people have told me this a few times. I've had to correct them and they've uh, not been very happy with me. I will put it that way. And I think we'll leave this off here for now because probably, well, I don't, I re watched this three or four times before doing this. So hopefully didn't get anything wrong. But yeah, I think we'll leave this off here before I do. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.